Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Ella, Sri Lanka. I am in the middle of nowhere here, and I wanted to start this video by showing you my guest house because it is in a pretty amazing location. So this right here is the road leading up to the guest house. And yeah, you can't really call this a road, but let me show you the surroundings here. Have a look at this. So this rock over there is called Ella Rock, and that is one of the most famous places here. And I am literally looking at it from my guest house. And the guest house is right over there. So I'm going to show it to you. It is literally the last house on this road. And the town of Ella is at an altitude of 1000 meters above sea level. But I think that this guest house is probably 200 meters higher. So the road only goes downhill from here. And then here's my guest house. Now getting up here was quite a challenge. I actually took a taxi from Marissa and I shared the taxi with a German couple. So we paid about $50 for three people for a four hour taxi ride, which is very reasonable. So yeah, now this is my room here and I'm pretty sure that they only have one. So you have this sink here to wash your hands. And then this little porch here. And then this right here is the main terrace of my room. And I will show you the room later. Just have a look at this. This is where I'm going to have breakfast tomorrow morning and probably where I'm going to watch the sunset. Now the very friendly owner just called me because he saw me filming and he told me that I should film from upstairs because there might be a better view. Let's see. So I guess this is his house. And here we have his terrace. Hello, sir. So here, best view. Thank wow. You. Yeah. Look at this, guys. It doesn't get much better than this. Down there they have water tanks, which is pretty common here in Sri Lanka. And then here, the hammock. So this is your house. Yeah. Ah, you live. How many ch ki uh, kids? Five. Five kids. Yeah. Oh, what? So two parents, five kids. Two baby. My wife, mine. Yeah. My mother. Ah, your mother also lives yeah, here. Yeah. Ah, okay. So big family. Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. <laughs> and you have this solar energy. Solar, yeah. Oh, so you have solar energy and water tank. Yeah. Everything. Really nice. This one, avocado. Tree. Avocado tree. Yeah. Wow. So he even has avocado trees. Wow, very nice. Very beautiful place. Garden. Oh yeah, which uh, plants? Yeah. Bean. Beans. Beans. Okay. Very good place. Nice and curry. Nice. So you make curry with yeah, curry, uh, yeah. rice. This and onion. Okay. Nice, <laughs> very nice. And this house is your neighbor, my, not, my not family. your family. Ah, it's all your family. Yeah, yeah. So all the family here. Yeah. Okay. No danger. Okay. No danger. Nice. This one, tea. Peach. Tea. Ah, tea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you make your own tea, yeah, yeah. your own curry, yeah, yeah. beans, yeah. everything. <laughs> so you are. You don't need supermarkets. Yeah, no no supermarket. Sometimes, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you make everything here. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, yeah. So yeah, a really lovely guy there who owns the place. And yeah, I think that this entire neighborhood, if you could call it that, is all the same family. Let's walk back in here. So we've seen the terrace 
And now I'll show you my room here. And this is it. We got a really nice double bed, big mattress as well, pillows and mosquito nets. Not sure if these will be needed. And then we have another double bed here. So I guess you could have four people in here, but it is really clean and it looks relatively new. And then here, little table and the bathroom. As always in Sri Lanka, pretty basic, but this has been done with a lot of care. A really nice place. All right, guys, I put on my sweater because it is getting a bit chilly out here. It is quite warm during the day, between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. But then at night, it does get a bit chilly. Anyways, I am paying $10 a night for this room which is obviously an absolute bargain and that even includes breakfast. So I'm gonna show you the breakfast tomorrow. I think it is gonna be very basic, but I'm also gonna have home cooked dinner tonight. So he told me that his wife can make curry and he didn't give any specifications on what curry, but yeah, I guess it's gonna be rice and curry, maybe some meat, maybe not, but yeah, I'll show you the food later. But yeah, before that, I'm going to rest a little bit and then I'm going to think about what to do tomorrow and what there is to do in this town of Ella. I think that the main activities here are hiking and then there is a very famous bridge and some different mountain peaks. So yeah, see you guys at dinner. So guys, the food has arrived. I just need to use my phone's flashlight and this is an absolute feast so we got plenty of rice this is pumpkin this i forgot what it is but it has some onions then this is dal so lentils i guess carrots and potatoes and then these sri lankan chips right here so yeah guys, I'm gonna eat all this food now and then I might talk to you again. If not, then we'll see each other tomorrow. Good morning guys. It is now 6 a.m. here in Ella, Sri Lanka and I just got up to watch the most epic sunrise ever. Have a look. This is the sunrise over the mountains. Ella rock over there, the palm trees. This is just magical. So guys, breakfast has arrived, and yeah, this looks pretty amazing. We got some tea, black tea, and then I don't know what all these things are. This is an omelette, of course, but yeah, this looks really tasty. So I'm gonna munch on this now, because we got a busy day ahead of us. Let's try these here first. They kind of look like pancakes. Very tasty. I can't really say what's inside, but it is not sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and some fruits. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What is this? Pancakes. Pancakes, yeah, it tastes like pan, okay. And this? Sri Lankan roti. Roti, yes, yeah. okay. So this is roti, yeah. pancakes, Pancake. omelette, yeah, yeah. and we got some beautiful yeah. fruits here. Yeah. Are they from the garden? No. No, no you, you bought these, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, and this? Coconut, tambola. Coconut, yeah. wow. Really nice, thank you very much. It's done. So I put this there? Yeah. Okay. So I put the coconut uh, like, yeah. like this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, I gave very good taste. Roti with coconut. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> very good. Okay, thank you. Thank See you. Bye. Thank you.
This roti with coconut is epic. All right, guys, now it is time to leave this incredibly beautiful area next to my guest house here. And yeah, I'm gonna head into the center of town and do a hike to one of the most famous places here in Ella. It should take about 20 minutes to get down to the center of town, but it is all downhill. And here you can see that the road just disappears. So some parts of the road are paved and then some parts are not. So yeah, I don't know if I have ever stayed in a place that is this remote, but also this beautiful in terms of surroundings. Now we are back on the paved road walking past the incredible views. So yeah, I guess it should take around 20 minutes to get to the center of town and then another 45 minutes to get to the site that I want to see. So here we have the road where I just came from and the center of town is down there. But I found this shortcut here. So this should be quite a bit quicker otherwise I would have to walk around there and then use this street but yeah I mean this is one of those places where you can just stop every five seconds and admire the view Ella is definitely quite a uniquely beautiful place And here we are, the town center, finally. Getting here took quite a while, I have to say, almost half an hour, but it was a nice walk. Crazy bus driver. The bus drivers here are absolute maniacs. So yeah, this is the town center of Ella. You have lots of restaurants hotels, guest houses, travel agencies here and yeah as you can see and probably here it is quite a lot busier than the area where I'm staying. So yeah now I'm gonna walk through the center of Ella here and then start a hike to arrive at the Nine Arches Bridge which is one of the most famous places here. But yeah, this place is quite special, I have to say. It is really a small town nestled between incredibly beautiful mountains. So I now gotta find the trailhead, which is somewhere in the center here on this road. Shouldn't be too far. The weather is absolutely perfect for a little hike. Even though I already did a little hike this morning. So I found the entrance here next to these two very old buses. Hello sir. And this is supposedly the entrance. Looks like a pathway a bit of up and down I might need I might need my hands for this but it doesn't look too bad so it should be a 30 minute walk to the Nine Arches Bridge which is a pretty spectacular location but yeah this doesn't seem to be too much up and down just straight and a little bit downhill and you can hear the birds you are surrounded by wildlife there are probably monkeys here as well so gotta be careful with those 
Wow, look at this. So I guess we gotta do a loop and then head up there. Let's continue. Wow, there's even a little shop here and a restaurant maybe. Look at this. Really pretty and so green. Sri Lanka is just green wherever you look. And I am not sure whether it rains a lot here. I mean, it must rain quite a bit, otherwise the plants wouldn't be so green. But yeah, since I arrived in Sri Lanka, it hasn't rained at all. And I think that the rainy season and the dry season depend on the region of Sri Lanka. So from what I understand, I am now in the dry season when it comes to the southern coast. But yeah, I am not exactly sure. And here we are. This is the world famous Nine Arches Bridge built in 1921 during the British colonial period. Now walking over the Nine Arches Bridge, probably the most famous Instagram location in Sri Lanka. But yeah, for good reason. The surroundings here are pretty epic, just like anywhere in Ella. This town is just properly beautiful. So here you can see the whole place a bit better with the lighting. I mean, just look at how green this place is. This is really the most beautiful tropical greenery. And then the bridge here and the tunnel over there. And yeah, we will see the train passing over the bridge in a few minutes, I guess, depending on whether it is on time. This looks pretty epic. Right, walking back over the bridge now, so you have better views if you walk into this direction because of the light in the morning. But yeah, that train looked pretty epic and I am actually going to ride it tomorrow, but that will be a different video. Alright guys, walking through the center of Ella now and we are going to head to a tea plantation because obviously we are surrounded by tea plantations. So let's go have a look at one of those. Right, we have made it to the tea plantation here and factory. This actually looks pretty cool. So you got all the tea leaves here and then the main factory over there. So yeah, let's see if we have to do a tour or something. I'm not exactly sure. I think you have to do a guided tour, but yeah, we'll find out. So I ended up getting a ticket here for a tour and yeah, the tour should take around half an hour and we're going to see the factory. The ticket was 1,500 rupee. So yeah, here you can see the different types of tea that are produced in Sri Lanka and these are all different regions. So we have candy, Varaelia, and the color actually is different depending on the region. And that has something to do with the soil humidity. And yeah, that's how you differentiate one type of Sri Lanka tea from another one. So which one should we taste first? The orange pickle. It is very light, like green tea. All right, I'll give it a try. So apparently this is black tea, 
that tastes like green tea. Yeah, it does.